unboxing the Temna audio impedance tester. Uh, it's a very affordable tester uh, for testing speaker setups or a single speaker. Uh, best price is at uh, Newark. About $160. You see them online and other places for a little over $200. Comes in a nice carrying case. Uh, I've used this before. I have a place of business that uses it. So, this is what you get. The pack <clears throat> with the leads comes with the batteries you need. It uses a lot of batteries. Uh, so, and a carrying strap for the unit, which is nice because you can put it around your neck and wear it on your chest as you do the meter. So there's a release here, and on the back there's a hinge, so you can open that up. This one's new and stiff. And then spin it, and it just becomes the bottom. And you can click that if you need it. Here's the spot for the, here's the, spot for the straps. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. So you just push over to the big hole and off it comes. So the battery compartment is screwed on. They're uh, captured screws. Not the easiest thing to do, but you don't have to replace the batteries very often. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's eight packs of batteries. Okay, I've put the batteries in. Uh, there's a short instructions on here. We're going to follow this one because we're just testing a single speaker. They talk about 70 volt systems. Uh, that's a totally different way of doing speakers uh, than what most people know about. I'll probably talk about that in some other video. But if you just have a regular speaker, uh, 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 16 ohm, uh, you'll follow those directions. Of course there's also the book that has more things. So the, the leads, you have a little cover, so you can just use the tip, uh, or, and the older versions, these actually, the alligator clips actually screwed on, these you just push on, hopefully. Yep, just had to push harder. So I'm going to be needing the alligator clips. That one was easier. And then the other end has a cap. I'm going to pull that cap off first. And this is just a like, super safe type of lead. Uh, of course, uh, all black will go into the black. That's your common, and then your your ohm. For single speaker, really doesn't matter. So, what we do is we turn it on, and you'll see it's at zero. There's this test button, and then if you have a reading, you can press hold and then turn the test off. Then there's this uh, adjuster. So the way to do that is you 
Connect those together. Test. And then this was already calibrated. But if it wasn't, it might look like that. So you just spin this until you get to zero. Keep in mind any dial is going to be what's called hysteresis, where it catches up and then goes over. Okay, right there at zero, no negative. All right. So for an 8 ohm speaker, which this probably is, and it probably works, but we're going to find out. Turn test off. And then I just hook one to one. And when you hit test, to test impedance, not resistance, they're both rated in ohms, but they mean different things. Uh, you have to put a signal into it. So you hear that, ooh, so this is at 6.9, so it's basically an 8 ohm speaker. Uh, they're never exact. I want to hold that value and turn the, the test off. Then I can hold that value. Uh, so really, it's that simple. It's a great tool. Uh, I have to maintain a system that's got speakers all crazy wild uh, connected to each other so I can turn this on walk down listen to every speaker sometimes in noisy environments you can't hear it uh, and then I can make sure that the the ohm rating is still good if I add another speaker we just check the ohm rating for that so this is the uh, Temna audio impedance tester uh, it's a very handy inexpensive unit and it has saved me hours and hours uh, on some of the jobs I'm on